Also, two more things I wanted to cover real quick. The spacers, um, the screws that came with it were a little too short in order for the screw to come up through the chassis, through the, the plate, and then into these locking uh, nuts over here. So I reached out to the seller. They're going to send me the right size. And to hold, in order to mount the motor, I needed to keep all the spacers in place. And that was kind of a hassle. And the way that I ended up doing it was actually putting a bolt through the top, through the spacer, and out through the bottom. And right now, uh, it's not, probably not going to focus. You guys might be able to see a couple of those screws. It's not focusing right, but... Um, you can see a couple of them sticking all the way through, but there's seven all the way around that's just holding the spacers in place. <clears throat> when I get the right size screw in, I'll take that out, put that in, put the new screw in, bolt it down, and then do one at a time, just like that. For these side skirts, um, all I did was just a little bit of Loctite, so don't forget to do that, because it's going metal on metal and there's no locking nut. These are just uh, regular metal, no nylon, so uh, be sure to put Loctite in on that. So that was it. And I have extended the servo wire and shortened the fan and switch wires. Oh, the other thing I've done is went ahead and drilled a couple holes here to mount the receiver wires. So the antennas will be coming up right through there. And of course, the GT body is going to be plenty tall enough. It's not going to interfere with that. If it does, I'll just reduce the height of that a little bit. Should be fine. All right. ESC's mounted. Everything's wired up. Receiver's mounted. I plugged everything in. Just make sure everything was working. We're good there. Servo's in. Um, that's actually centered the way it is, um, but because of the positioning and all that, um, it had to be, you know, kind of angled in that manner. Um, that's fine as long as when it rolls down the road, it goes straight. Um, only thing I'm a little concerned with is where the body's going to mount up right here. Um, I don't have concerns about, you know, the wires hitting while it's driving, um, hitting the wheel. But I don't know if this is going to get in the way of the body inserting right in here. I don't believe it will, um, but if it does... We might have to do something different with the way that this is routed. Here's the new spool. See the outline of how that goes in. And I'll link this spool as well. All right, you guys, got a couple more things in the mail. Um, front bumper for the infraction. A replacement front splitter and then ARA320521. This is front bumper support for the infraction. So we'll go ahead and put all that on. We'll take the limitless front bumper off. So, of course, I say, you know, that part number because that's the only one that comes with the appropriate bumper support. But as you can see here, this is the same as the limitless. So we're only going to be swapping on what's needed in order to put the front bumper on. And just so there's no confusion at all, front bumper, this is this piece right back here. It's kind of hard to see. Let me see if I can, there we go. That's already attached. Of course, we don't need to replace that. And that's gonna stay. All of this is gonna stay on. Okay, we're gonna replace the, the splitter with a new one, just because this one's all messed up. This is how the front bumper goes on. Get this to focus here. Okay. And then this is gonna rest. These two holes here, I'm gonna go here and here, and then this up top is gonna go right in here. That's the great thing about these limit, uh, limitless infraction felony. A lot of them are identical. So we'll just have to put our own screws in, but 
that's it. That'll give, other than, of course, the splitter <laughs> is down here. This is going to get the brunt of the impact if we crash. But this little extra added protection will help protect all of this up here. All right, so I had to supply my own screws. I ended up using M3 by 16 flathead countersunk right here and here. And then I went ahead and put the splitter on. And then up here, I just used two of these screws. I didn't have any button head that were smaller size, but I used two of those, which are M3. And it was the M3 by 20 up here everything seems to fit really nicely so splitter looks good compared to what it was <laughs> that's the underside and that was up top all right you guys moment of truth time i've got the body <laughs> i have not taken it out of the plastic yet let me stand on this side actually and do that now. There we go. Let's see, we're in the shop. Yeah, we are. Looking good. So I will now be able to tell if the ESC can be mounted there or not. And then I get to start cutting. All right, let me work on this, and I'll be right back with you all. All right, so we are going to have to take the wing off in order to try to fit this over here, which is fine because I've got actually a new wing coming in the mail. So um, that might take a while to get here, but, you know, so be it. Wing is off. Side. Now this comes off. All right, so now we will just have to cut this back section out, which looks to be perfect size for going around this rear splitter. Then we'll really be able to set the body all the way on top. And just looking at it right here, let me move the camera closer. Looks like the ESC is gonna fit right in there perfectly. So I'm not sure if I actually shot a video of me mounting the GPS, um, but it, it's using this 3M dual lock Velcro, and of course it's sticky on both sides, and um, it really holds the GPS in place, and you've got kind of wiggle Ugh. <laughs> pull pretty hard let me see if I can get this off here mm. that is really really on there Ugh. there we go okay so clearly that's not coming off um, easily but this is how I've got the GPS mounted get that line back up <laughs> And that was difficult. Snap that down into place and it's good to go. I'm gonna do the same thing with the ESC. The reason I'm doing that and not doing double-sided sticky tape, I'm sure you've already kind of guessed, but I can't just stick this down here and leave it because I need to be able to get the gear off of this motor without having to pull the whole motor out just to swap that out. It would be much easier for me to pop the ESC off and change the gear that way than to remove all the screws and slide the motor out this way. All right, last little tip here. Um, I've got some double-sided tape stuck right on top of these. Actually, I've stuck them down a little too hard. I'm gonna lightly put them on. And what I'm hoping for, actually, wait a minute, no, 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 jeez. Leave the plastic on the other side Flip them over so the sticky side is up. And then I'm going to line up the ESC 
where it's supposed to be, stick it down on there, and then when I flip it over, I'll be able to see where to cut out this double-sided or dual lock Velcro, because that is gonna need to be cut out to clear those, um, I guess you can call them nuts, there's screws coming in from the bottom. They're flat like that so that batteries can sit on top of them without you know, too much of an issue, but I want the ESC to sit flat, so I'm gonna cut that out from here. You guys will see it in a second. All right, so I've stuck these on, and I've actually used some body snips to cut out around the edges here. So I'm gonna peel all this off and get it stuck into place after I wipe this down. All right, there we go. So card down I'm letting the stickiness of course set up so I'm not gonna pull it off to do a proof of concept or anything but you can see wheel clears no problem and steering up here with the wiring clears so we are good to go I'm gonna fix this wire loom and probably add a little zip tie here and here to keep that together. But it's coming along the whole right side <laughs> is now finished. So really happy about that. All right, one last quick note. Always double and triple, bleh, <laughs> double and triple check your body because I went, stuck that on, and was kind of looking at, you know, where this needs to be cut to be lowered down, and this would have just barely, barely hit the ESC. So, I had to scoot it in just a little bit, which means I also, let me set this over here, I also had to notch out where there was a screw at the very corner of the ESC, Hopefully you can see that screw down there, right there. Had to notch out um, part of the dual lock Velcro so I could scoot that in a little bit further. 